guys, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So as you can see, we've got a little love haul, okay? There is going to be a few maybe with little bits and bobs popping up along the way, but it is the February month. It is the month of self-love, partner love, loving whoever, family, friends, even your pets, okay? Even our little poochies need some little bit of loving. The amount of posts I have seen on Instagram of people doing like little Valentine's hampers for their dog. Oh my God, my heart melts. Um, yes, I am wrapped up once again, not like I was in the last video when I was in the log cabin and I had the heating on 30, I had a fire burning, I'm back home, we've got the heating on 25, but it's not, it's not taking the chill away. So I thought, you know what, it doesn't matter because with it being February, a little bit of red, I mean, I do look like a little bit of a Christmas tree at the moment, don't I? I'm feeling very festive, red and green, very festive. However, festivities for another day. This is our annual Lush Valentine's Day haul. So my lovelies, if you're not aware of Lush, they are probably the biggest bath bomb supplier in the UK. Am I wrong? I don't know. Body Shop do bath bombs as well, but they're kind of like little bath fizzers. If you want actual big bath bombs, Lush is the place to be. And yes, I did get a little carried away, okay? Um, I always do Lush hauls on the seasons because I think that they have great for the seasons that come out they have great little pieces so the next haul will probably be an easter one and then we won't have anything then until halloween and then christmas so you only get four lush hauls a year which i mean i would love to go into lush and buy bits all the time but they are quite pricey and the bath bombs are not the cheapest and the shower gels are not the cheapest either so I tend to just stick with like super jug and boots throughout the year. But when it is a little bit of a festive occasion or a season, let's say, we do take a trip to Lush. So, as you'll see there, we've got two bags. And they are pretty jam-packed. I mean, oopsie. We've got the prices to hand. I've got my descriptions to hand. So, Shannon Lee, shall we stop rabbiting away and get in with the Lush Valentine's Hall for 2023? <laughs> right. So, it's not going to be in a particular order. We're just going to grab a bag and delve in i've got all the descriptions in front of me and i also have the most important bit which is the pricing so let's have a look and i'm doing this on new bedding with my electric blanket down here because as i say my tootsies are cold i have got layers on guys okay i'm not sitting here in my pajamas today i'm sitting here in layers and my feet are under my nice little toasty electric blanket oh and what a bath bomb to start it on guys this is a classic okay absolute classic that is so much of a classic i don't even think it's on here <laughs> that's great isn't it let's have a look did we order this we must have ordered this yeah okay this was five pound fifty oh it is on there i'm looking it used to be called i think peachy wonder now it's just peachy this returning favorite for i'm gonna say the past two three years however they haven't brought back the aubergine this year. Who remembers last year when I got the giant aubergine? That thing was huge. But they haven't brought it back. I feel like <laughs> I feel it might have got them in trouble. But peachy, sweet, cheeky, fruity fizzer. Yes, you are indeed. Oh, guys. And you know with Lush, I love the way that they have this little... I think it's called like facated, facated. It's like angled so that like you can actually sit it on there. 550, I don't think that's a bad price for that because it is quite a large size. Like you could easily split that, or if you're like me, I just chuck it in. But these are not used daily. Um, please don't think I know I love my bath, but I do not sit there and have a lush bath bomb in my bath on a daily basis. These will be on a weekend normally. Is it both days? Sunday, definitely, because that's self-care day sometimes a saturday if i'm feeling like i want a little bit of an extra treat that will be going in but as i say it's just weekends i wonder what i was going to say then right this now we all know i love a lip product okay and i'm so fascinated with these i bought one of these last year and it was just such a weird sensation this is called hot lips okay hat 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 hot lips this was three pounds and it is a lip mask and a scrub so it says, prepare to pucker up, pamper mask and scrub your lips with almond oil 
carrageenan extract and bamboo stem for cherry bakewell flavored kisses so you literally put it on for 10 minutes and then you start to scrub it and it becomes exfoliant we all know me i love a gimmicky product and i <laughs> if there is a product that is maybe a bit tacky like a christmas cardigan i'm here i'm all here for it you haven't got to ask me twice i'm not gonna lie i'm really looking forward to that easter collection coming out because i think it was last year they had the owl and pussycat in the boat do you remember that one? Oh wow right this i feel is new i don't feel like i've seen this before this is a strawberry crumble bubble rune and it doesn't give you a thing on this it just says crumble under running water and swish these strawberry hearts for a very good bath oh Oh, that's very nice. You know how sometimes when you get strawberry scented stuff, they're like very sickly overpowering? Oh, that is cute. So, this is a little, in essence, it's kind of like a bubble bar. Because it says crumble under running water. I probably wouldn't use this all in one go. I would do it like a bubble bar and I'd probably cut it into four and then crumble. And how much were you... I feel like he was about £6.50. So, yeah, I would definitely crumble that up. Oh, my God, do you know what it's reminding me of? Is it like Mr. Kipling, Viennese Wells? Please don't eat these. These are not edible. Lip scrubs are edible from Lush. If you have any of the lip scrubs, I mean, I wouldn't just advise to sit there and eat you out of the pot, but if you give your lips a good exfoliant, they work wonders. But, yeah, £6.50, and I'll probably get at least two. I might cut this into four, but, yeah. Just thought a little something different. I don't feel I've seen that before. I don't think they had it last year. Or did they? You know what? Time just flies away, doesn't it, my love? There's time absolutely flies. I mean, who can believe we're already in February? Oh, I've had this one before. Love it. So, this is called Tisty Tosty. I feel it's a very weird name. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why it's called that. Tisty Tosty. A floral bathtub love spell. Okay, run a bath and drop this captivating combination and take a moment to remember and reflect on how wonderful you are. I've had this. It is very, very, oh, can and there we go. Very calming. Very, very calming. And Tisty Tosty was £4.50. This has little like rose petals in or like flowers, let's say. However, they are a bit of a nightmare to get out of the bath and you have to get them out quick because they stain like the petals actually stain and we don't need that it has in there rose oh seven rosebuds okay geranium oil lemon oil so it is a little bit citrusy but it is a very calm and it's not like overpowering with citrus and i just realized i didn't tell you the uh sense of peachy and strawberry even though it's probably very self-explanatory the peachy is citric acid grapefruit oil divana tangities and peach juice hence the peachy flavor and then the strawberry crumble what do we have in here for our lemon oil oh it's also got fresh strawberries and shea butter that will be the little uh, creamy bit in the middle you know when you sit there and i'm thinking i know i normally show them i'm sure i tell them something else yeah i tell you the ingredients instead of me just saying yeah it smells like peach or strawberry aye 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 shannon leave this have a look <gasps> Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex bomb, and you can give it to me when I need to come along. This is a returning favourite. This, I think, has been going for, I'm going to say like five years. This has been going a good long time, and this is called Sex Bomb, guys. Ah, oh, this is huge. This is the one that you normally see in gift sets at Christmas time. Not Christmas time, Valentine's. Sex Bomb. It's 450. So I don't think that's too bad for this size. This, yes, sex bomb. Should we hear the description? Tired, stressed, say no more. Drop this central bomb into your bath and shimmy right in. Jasmine Absolute, Ylang Ylang, and Clary Sage oils will soon get you in the mood. And it is, it's citric acid. We have some perfume in there. Okay. Jasmine Absolute, Ylang Ylang Oil, Ylang Ylang, Ylang Ylang, and Sage Oil. 
this every year hands down without a doubt you will be seeing in my lush hauls because it's just a staple if someone says to me what is your staple for lush in valentine's sex bomb day in day out sex bomb that's all what's this one it's a little bit pointy <gasps> right so this is a new one okay i'm very fascinated by this very fascinated now this, I believe, is a collab with someone. I don't know how. It's called Happy Face Bath Bomb. It was £7. So it's not the cheapest and it's not necessarily the biggest. However, they also have one which is Sad Face. I feel like it is a collab with someone, but I don't know who. I definitely feel it's a collab because it was like it had a different little bit of branding on the top of the website. Seven pound, as I say, it's not the biggest. So I think the sad face is like, well, actually, it is quite big. Is that on par with sex bomb? Yeah, but it's almost double the price. Okay, so the sad face, if I remember, is lavender and very calming. But I went for the happy face. And they say that happy face, run the bath and lower into warm bath water and uplift and refresh your smile with peppermint and grapefruit oils this was why i went for the happy face peppermint oil grapefruit oil cedarwood oil corn protein and viverte oil whatever that is oh okay right i don't feel looking at it it's going to do too much for the water see happy face the other one was the sad face, which I'm sure was like lavender and stuff. I don't feel like it's going to fizz the water a lot. It might just be like a little bit of foam and bubbles. I don't think we're going to get like massive colour wave difference or anything like that. But yeah. Oh, and look at that. It's just gone in and zoomed on the sides and gone all over. I always wear black, don't I? Always wear black when I do the lush hauls. I will never learn my lesson because the stuff goes everywhere. It goes blooming everywhere, doesn't it? Right, I'm not going to lie, guys. This wasn't how I thought it was going to come. <laughs> so this one I ordered online, and it's called Posh Chocolate Body Wash. Now, I thought this would come in our usual pots. You know, we normally get the pots. No, it's actually come in a tub. It says, scoop a good handful and work it over your body in the shower or bath. Rinse and marvel at your softness. So posh chocolate, posh chocolate was £15. I think the ones in the bottles are normally 12 for 275 This is 225 I don't know why this is, oh my God, it's, it does smell divine though, I'm not going to lie. Is it maybe because it's more of a mousse? Well, I don't want to start, oh my God, that's so... The texture of it is like literally chocolate mousse. Right, let's not do that because I'm going to get very hungry and want my chocolate protein put in. But that's how it is. So, it's not necessarily like the ones in the tub sim, in the pot, the squeezy ones. This is actually like a, I would feel you would just like rub your hand over and then get all the lavas. And it says, don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he wished for. He lived happily ever after. Willy Wonka. Such a wise, wise man. Oh, actually, I'm going to give that a go tonight. Can I get the lid back on? Yes. Well, again, on there, guys. Okay, yeah, when I saw that, I was thinking, what have I ordered? When I saw body wash, I was like, have I ordered the wrong thing? Normally, mine come in like the little squeezy bottles, but apparently not, my lovelies. Apparently not. What is this little thing? <gasps> right, I've got something different. You're probably wondering why, because it says for a shower. But I got Passion Fruit Delight. And it says get fruity and lather up for a creamy softening skin cleanse. Tear off a little or use the whole block. That smells insane. Wow. Okay. I would probably just break bits off. Because I don't feel like you could use it as a soap bar. Because like, as I'm pulling this now, it's like you can literally tear it. Ooh. Oh, and it feels like quite... 
this is such a weird texture. It's almost like, like marshmallow fried. Ooh. That's oddly satisfying. That's very weird. So yeah, get fruity and lava up for a creamy skin softening cleanse. Tear off a little or use the whole block. Well, I'll tear off a little. We've got agar gel, sugar, granulate sugar, sugar syrup, perfume, cubia oil, sweet orange oil, and almond oil. Okay, and this, I don't feel this was too expensive for some reason. £3.40. I can't get over the smell of that. That is delightful. Maybe I need to start looking in the shower section. This is where, like, the halls just go from bath bomb to, like, absolutely everything. And, yes, I'm wiping my um, hands on my dressing gown because, as we all know, this is the dressing gown that, unfortunately, gets used and abused. This is the one that I will wear if I know the hall is going to be a bit messy, especially with black leggings. Great, Shan. <gasps> oh, guys, you're going to love that I've rebought this because this was a favourite with you guys last year. Slightly pricey, though. This is £6. It's on the higher end of bargain prices. But can I just say, this gives your bath magic on a whole nother dimension okay the description is spellbinding gothic bath art can you think what one it is three two one guys i've got the black rose again i freaking love this one the color obviously it's black but it's the shimmer it makes your bath does stain like a little biatch though you have to really quickly work it like as soon as i'm out of the bathroom i'm like get out get out she's in there cleaning it away i love that absolutely love that and as i say i think it only used to be five or five fifty this year so it has gone up slightly but it's just because it's something so different for lush like normally the bathrooms are so like colorful and this is as it says a spellbinding gothic bath art what do they say the things are drop this black bath bomb into your bath lie back and cast your eye over the entwining black and violet hues let yourself be spellbound by an intoxicating perfume of geranium lemon and rose that is the thing it is very citrusy but it's also very floral and then we have in here citric acid okay geranium oil sicilian lemon oil rose oil titanium and water okay then we will go with it we will go with it and then the last one from this bag what have we got here oh this is cute now i'm not gonna lie i did feel like this potentially could be easter but it's the year of the rabbit so i feel like it's to do with chinese new year as well this is ba -ba -da -ba -da, the golden rabbit bath bomb this was six pound pricey again but i think you're paying because of like maybe the occasion it's a celebration of a new year drop into your bath for a gentle uplifting dip now this one very strong citric acid bergamot oil sandalwood oil neroli oil it's weird it's not like citrusy but it is very like fresh and potent and this is in that shimmer that goes everywhere oh but guys look at how gorgeous that is can you see that that is blooming stunning it's the same kind of finish and coating remember when they did the cinderella her little glass ball the carriage and i feel like they've done another bath bomb in this finish oh the um was it a lion's head i got it's like this iridescent peach shimmery goodness that actually goes everywhere i'm not wiping you on the black leggings because that's already got dust in we'll wipe you on the dressing gown shall we have a breather that's one bag done how cute are these bags as well 
I don't know if they're like Valentine's thing, but yeah, I like that. That is one bag done, my lovelies. Should we get on to the next one? Right, bag dos. This was heavier. What have I got in there? <gasps> I know what I've got in there. Oh my god, guys, I put sand up in the sale when I've done this order. Obsessed, cannot wait. You are gonna scream, okay? You will scream. What is this? Oh, okay, this is something new for me as well. I'm thinking, what am I ordering here? This is called a floating Love Island bath oil. Okay, this was five pounds. So it says, drop into the bath and watch it float, gently fizzing around, releasing natural oils and butters to soften and moisturize your skin. Oh, well, that's very unusual. We've got citric acid, cocoa butter, almond oil, rose, perfume, jasmine, lemongrass, ylang, ylang and vanilla. There's a lot of combinations. So five pan, this is a bath oil. It feels so different to a bath bomb. That's the first thing that I notice. It feels so different. It does feel something, you know, like when you have Vaseline, like the balm. Oh, I'm intrigued though to try that. Will I will I treat myself on my Galentine's vlog? I'm not too sure. Well, you got to, it's Galentine's, ain't it? So you've got to treat yourself. Oh my god, my legs are burning up. Oh guys, my tootsies are so warm under this. As I say, I've been like, I haven't needed to have a blanket. Because I've been having the heating and the fire on. I better fold it back though because I'm sure that the uh, blanket says not to fold and I've got it folded in half over me like a little sandwich. It's probably not the greatest idea, is it? But hey-ho, let's pop that there, let's put that there and hope the uh, paper don't burn. Hey, it's always, a, it's always a manic little moment in this household, isn't it? What is this? Ah, right. I'm very interested by these. So, these are bath bombs, but they're not bath bombs like that I know. So, this is called a deep sleep bath bomb. This was £5. But, I saw the little video clip of it, and I was just really intrigued. So, deep sleep, it says, run your bath, drop in the soothing Epsom salt cubing. That's what it's like. It's not a normal bath bomb. And dive deep into the dream world while the magical lavender scents fill the air. So you know me, I'm not normally a lavender person, but this isn't too bad. We've got Epsom salt, citric acid, lavender oil, chamomile oil, lavender absolute, neroli oil, and passion seed oil. So this is, I think, deep sleep, if you're wanting to go to sleep, to be honest. Which we all know, sometimes I do have quite a few problems going off to sleep. That is quite a big cube, isn't it? That is actually not a bad size. So it's lilac and pink. I'm intrigued. There seems to be a lot of different products that Lush are doing at the moment. I don't know where they're going, whether they're trying to branch out and cater for different areas instead of just being bath bombs. As I say, because I've never seen a floating bath oil. Let me know if you have, maybe because I don't shop there regularly, I don't see it. But yeah, and the shower block thing, I've never seen that. Probably I've never seen that because I don't look for shower stuff. But still always uh, worth a little look. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited. So excited. This was the one that I saw, guys, and I was like, I need you. I need you in my life. This was £5, okay? And it's called Love Bug. We all know the nickname for my car is Bug. And I was just like, oh. It says, ready, run your bath, set, add your love bug, go, sink into the tangy sherbet scent of orange and Sicilian lemon. Oh, this sounds right up my street. This sounds right up my street. It calls it a fruity four-wheeler. My bug is definitely a fruity four-wheeler, let me tell you that. Sicilian lemon oil, sweet orange oil, citric acid, rose oil, cream of tartar. I mean, I know it has to go in to make a um, bath one, but I just think a cream of tartar. I don't know. I actually don't know. Oopsie. Oh. This this is me in a Valentine's bath bomb, okay guys? How 
cool is that? Look at this. It is a love bug. I don't quite know what it looks like. Maybe like a Chevrolet. Or like bug, like a Volkswagen. <gasps> that is me. That is me to a T. That is the flavour. That is the scent. That is Shannon and Bug in a bath bomb. I feel like that is going to be the one for Galentine's. I just, I'm not going to be able to help myself. It almost reminds me of like Austin Power era. That's why as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I need you in my life, in my bath routine. I need you, okay? And then, we've got, we've still got quite a few left, guys. This, I feel they definitely had this last year. I feel they definitely did. This was £6 and it is a groovy kind of love bath bomb. Groovy kind of love. Run a bath and drop in this rainbow bath bomb to feel your spirits lift and your skin refreshed. And it definitely does that, okay? Oh, you know when you see your phone flashing, I've got no idea what it's doing. Hey ho, we've got perfume, we've got citric acid, we've got bergamot oil, we have ylang ylang oil again, and sodium cocoa, whatever that is. This is definitely a returning. I remember this. I feel like this has been going actually for a couple of years. And when they say it leaves your bath like a rainbow, that is indeed what it does. And again, they are decent sizes. I know I say like, oh, price has gone up, but I'm still aware. Why do I feel like I've just inhaled that? Oh, <laughs> mayday. I think as I pulled it down. Oh, you know, like as you push it in the bag, I think some of the dust come up. I've probably got a multicoloured nose now. And my mouth just feels a bit powdery. But yeah, I know I say things have gone up, but it's a treat, isn't it? It's a treat every now and then. What have we got here? I don't actually know what this is. Hell. Oh, it's called Broken Heart. Okay. Broken Heart. This was £4.50. And all it says is wash it away. Run your bath and drop in this simple pink bath. Wash away while you breathe deeply. Oh, it's very fresh. Citric acid, sandalwood, tonka and vanilla. Oh, I don't really know why it's called Broken Heart. Because it hasn't really got... A design to it guys it's just a huge pink bath bomb so i feel as it says it is literally just going to turn the bath water pink i mean okay but it could have had a little heart on it for being called broken heart but we shall see it might just be that lovely calming pink bath that we all need and then our last bath bomb before i show you what i picked up in the sale which i am super excited about is another cube. So this was £5. This is the salt water soother. So this is like the deep sleep cube, but this one says soothing magnesium muscle soak. Oh, this was why I got this spearmint oil, peppermint oil, eucalyptus, and Epsom salts. Epsom salts. Sorry, my lovelies. This one it says the refreshing Epsom salts. Put the cube in before letting the restorative waters run over your tired muscles. This is what you need for after that long day. Well, what I'll need when I get my uh, tush back in the gym. Yes. Guys, look at the size of that. They are like bricks. So where the other one was pink and violet, this is yellow and blue. That's a lot more me. You know me. I love my eucalyptus. Love my peppermint. Now I've just got to try and get it. Oh, no, it's crumbling. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's definitely gone on the leggings. Oopsie. Oh, and Footloose is back. Woohoo. Oh, God, guys. Ow. Have I actually... Oh, no, guys, I've crumbled it on the bed. It's new bedding as well. Oopsie. We're just going to push that off and just forget all about it. Now, guys, the last thing that I got. So... This was supposed to be £35 and I got it for £17.50. I got it half price. And as soon as I saw it online, I was like, you know what? I need it. 
Oh my God, please take me back to Christmas. Guys, I got the four wick snow fairy candle. Look at the size of that. I thought it was a triple wick, but it's actually a quad wick. I've got the baby snow fairy, which I refused to burn this year because I was like, no, I like to. It's probably going to sound really sad, but I just like to smell them. Whenever I feel like a little bit mm, and I feel like I need some festivities, I will literally either go and smell my snower gel, shower gel, or the candle. But I'm not going to lie, I can't wait to burn this. I feel like I might actually burn this on the month of May for my birthday. 17.50 would i have paid 35 pound for it i would love to say yes but i don't think i would because i couldn't justify it last year if i was going to you would have seen it in the christmas hall but i couldn't but i mean it was meant to be it was in that section and i was like you are definitely going in my basket and would you look at that another bag done the uh, bedding is slightly covered <laughs> in bath bomb dust that's the sign of a good lush away <laughs> so my lovely is lush valentine's 2023 i don't think they've done too bad there's definitely some returning favorites and there are definitely some newbies that i am so excited to try that love bug yes yes please i'm very intrigued on the epsom salt cubes as well and i'm also really intrigued on this body wash because it actually feels like a mousse so yeah i feel we've done good as i say lush isn't something that you'll see regular on the channel it will just be for occasions so the next one you'll see will be our easter one and i feel like they release easter bits maybe march time i'm not entirely sure so you shall see that nearer the time but if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment of your favourite bit or do you buy any bits and bobs from Lush for yourself through the little Valentine's period? Anything that you think I should try over Valentine's, let me know down below. But yes, take care, stay safe as always and I'll see you very, very soon for a brand new video, whatever that may be. Bye guys!